in this video, we solved problem number two from the differential equations quiz number three from the spring 2021 semester. We are given an initial value problem and we're asked to use Euler's method with the given step size to find approximate values of the function. So we have this differential equation and this initial condition and we're told that our step size is h equals 0.1 or sometimes people will use delta x equals 0.1. Um, either way is fine. We call it h or delta x, but um, in both cases, we mean the same thing. And we're asked to find y or approximate y of 0.1, y of 0.2, and y of 0.3. Um, so it's actually pretty simple. Um, the formulas for Euler's method um, are as follows. y sub n, that is sort of the nth, in the nth iteration of the method, can be found by taking the last y value, which we'll call y sub n plus 1, and then adding the slope at the last xy pair, and then multiplying by the step size. So you can call that step size delta x, or if you prefer, you can call it h. Um, either one is fine. And this function, f of x and y, is given by the right-hand side of this differential equation when it's in this form, where you have the derivative on one side and then you have just a function of x and y on the other. This is our f of x and y. And x sub n is given by the initial x value plus n times delta x, or n times the step size. So you could say n times h if you want to, or if you prefer, you can think of it as the last x value plus the step size. Either way is fine. Our initial x value is the x value in the initial condition. We'll call that x naught. And this is our y naught. So if we have a step size point 0.1, and x naught is equal to zero, x1 is zero plus 0.1, and x sub two is 0.1 plus 0.1. So you just keep adding 0.1 every time because that's our step size. Um, so delta x or h is equal to 0 0.1. And note that with this step size, all we have to do is go through Euler's method three times to find an approximation of y of 0 0.1, y of 0 0.2, and y of 0 0.3. Um, so those are our formulas for the x's, and now we've calculated the x's. Now for each of these values of n, n equals 0 through 3, let's find the corresponding values of y. Um, so um, when n equals 1, this is what we have. We have y sub 1 is equal to the last y value plus the slope at the last xy pair times delta x or h. Actually, I prefer delta x, so I'm going to use delta x instead of h. Now again, the reason why this works is we're just using a tangent line approximation. We know that this point, x equals zero, y equals negative two, is on the tangent line. And we know that the slope of the tangent line at that location is given by the right-hand side of this differential equation. So if I want to approximate a nearby point, well, I can just take a small step um, in the x direction of 0 0.1 in this case, and then say, well, I don't know what the y is, but I bet the y value is approximately equal to the y value on that tangent line. And that's what this says right here. So we're using the equation of the tangent line where this is the slope. Um, it's the tangent line at the point x naught y naught to find the y value at a nearby point. So we take the original y value or the y value at the last location, that was negative two. And then we add the slope at x naught y naught. x naught y naught um, is the point x equals zero, y equals negative two. And our step size h or delta x, whichever you prefer, is 0 0.1. Now our slope function was given in the problem statement to be negative x squared over three y. So we're just going to have um, this piece will be negative zero squared over three times y, which is negative two. 
That's our slope and we're multiplying by 0.1. Well, that's a slope of zero. So the y value or y sub one is equal to negative two and y sub one is approximately equal to y at x sub one or that's approximately equal to y at 0 0.1 in this case. So our approximation for y at 0 0.1 is um, y equals negative two. And that was actually one of the first, or that was one of the questions that they asked us. We were asked to find the approximate values of the function and these were the approximate values. So we want y approximated at 0 0.1 and then 0.2 and then 0.3. So we, we do this again. This time we use n equals two. So we'll have y sub two equals the last y value plus the slope at the last x, y pair. And we multiply by delta x. The last y value was negative two. Our last x value was 0 0.1. And we're multiplying by our delta x equals 0 0.1 this time. So we have negative two plus the slope at this location. That was negative x squared over three times our y value of negative two. So we're gonna end up with negative two plus negative 0 0.01 divided by negative six times 0 0.1. Of course, the negative over a negative is a positive. So we have that there and that is approximately this number. We have negative two plus 0 0.001 divided by six. So we get that. Let's round out to five decimal places, why not? Negative 1.99983 approximately. That's y of two, which is approximately equal to y at x2 and x2 is 0 0.02. Okay. And now we just need to do this one more time to approximate y at 0 0.3. That'll be y sub three is equal to the last y value plus the slope at the last x, y pair times our change in x. This is approximately negative zero or negative 1.99983 plus the function evaluated at, or the um, slope function evaluated at 0 0.2 and negative 1.99983 approximately. And we're gonna take that and we'll multiply by 0 0.1. So we have negative x squared over three times um, the y value. Of course, this is an approximation. And then we multiply by 0 0.1. So I'll use my approximations this time. And we're subtracting, let's see, 0 0.2 squared times, actually, let me work this out first. Let's say we've got 0 0.2 squared, and then we're dividing it by three, oops, open parentheses, three times negative 1.99983, close parentheses. There's that, and then we'll multiply by negative one, because a negative, we have, we've got that expression times negative one. And then we multiply by 0 0.1. And then we add that to this number over here or just subtract that number from that because it's a negative number. So we get this. Y sub three is approximately negative 1.99916. And that is approximately equal to Y at X three, which is equal to Y at 0 0.3. Now we were not asked to graph it. But just to give you a visual of what we just did, we were told that when x is equal to zero, y is equal to negative two. Oops, I guess it's gonna be down here. And then we said, well, what is, 
y equal to approximately at 0 0.1. Well, the y value at 0 0.1 was approximately negative 2 because the tangent line was horizontal right there. And then we said, let's come up with another tangent line and find out what the y value would be over here. And it turned out that when we plugged in, or we, we found the tangent line over here, it had tiny, tiny, tiny positive slope. Um, given by this uh, one over, um, that's one over 100 divided by six. So one over 600, that was our slope. Um, given that that was our slope, and we just took a tiny step of 0 0.1 units in the x direction, our new y value is approximately equal to this. It's just a little bit larger than negative two. And something similar happened at the next xy pair. We had a, another positive slope. So we were at this y value, we took a tiny step, a 0 0.01 step in the x direction um, on a tangent line with this slope. And we got a y value that was, that was approximately equal to that. So, so we've got one, two, three, four points on our curve. We know that this one's on the curve. That's an approximation. That's an approximation. And that's an approximation. Um, and that's Euler's method. That's how we find approximate values of the solution to this initial value problem um, with Euler's method, which is based on tangent line approximations to our curve. Since the function is differentiable, it's continuous, and that means that using a tangent line as an approximation on a tiny interval around that point is not a bad idea. <laughs>